All right, guys, so most of you know that the Honor Play has just launched two days ago, and I had the chance to use the phone for the past uh, two weeks before it was actually launched. And I gotta say that this phone is probably one of the more nicer phones that Honor has produced. I really enjoyed the performance of the phone. Although it only had four gigs of RAM, but it was still running the Kirin 970 processor. But the difference between this Kirin 970 processor and something like the P20 Pro is that this phone has been updated with the GPU Turbo which uh, Honor has claimed that will give you 60% increase in performance and 30% reduce in power consumption. Now when it comes to the power consumption part, that I can definitely guarantee that this phone can easily last up to one and a half days to two days depending on how you use it and while I was using it playing games and using social media watching some videos I realized that the phone can last for at least one and a half days which I think is pretty decent in uh, the day and age of now where all smartphones are very power consumption so it's pretty impressive what they have done with the software and the hardware of the Honor Play so as I mentioned before, overall the feel of the phone is just nice, the uh, full aluminium body gives it this very nice premium look. I really like aluminium over glass, at least uh, aluminium gives you a bit more protection. Um, other than that, really it is honestly a very nice phone and the price of the phone is really amazing. 1,249 ringgits for um, a Kirin 970, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage. I think this is a very solid phone to compete with a lot of the other phone manufacturers out there. But the most important thing to me is the GPU Turbo because as I mentioned before, a 60% increase in performance is really amazing if you think about it um, just through a software update. So what I did was I took the P20 Pro which does not have the GPU Turbo update and put it against the Honor Play which has the GPU Turbo update. So with that guys, let's check out the Atuntu benchmark for both these phones. And as you can see for yourself, the overall scoring for both these phones are pretty good. And then when it comes to UX, well, both these phones are from the same company technically, so they are using the same EMUI. So of course we can see uh, not much of a difference. I think the difference is only about five. Well, obviously the P20 Pro is going to win because it has six gigabytes of RAM compared to the Honor Play, which only has four gigabytes of RAM. Now. When it comes to benchmarking, this is not a real-world test because it, obviously all the results here are done from a simulation that the app has. So, what about real-world use? What about the experience of a user if I were to pick up the P20 Pro and the Honor Play? Will that make a difference in my usage when it comes to gaming? Well, in my experience of playing games on both these phones, I realized that on the Honor Play, the frame rates are much more consistent compared to the P20 Pro. So for example, games like Asphalt 9, I would get a steady 30 frames on the Honor Play, whereas on the P20 Pro, the frame rates fluctuate from 30 to 28, down to 25, and then back again to 30. Then when it came to a game like Shadowgun Legends, uh, in the towns, I realized that the P20 Pro had some problems trying to uh, maintain the 30 frame rates. Whereas on the Honor Play, it had no issues with uh, maintaining it at 30 frames. Then finally, we come to PUBG. Now, PUBG on the on both these phones perform pretty well. Now, there are I realized there are some frame drops on the P20 Pro and very minuscule frame drops on the Honor Play. So yes, the GPU Turbo does seem to be doing something to give you a more consistent frame rates when it comes to games. Now, I wouldn't say that it gives you a 60% improvement on the phone because as you can see for yourself that both the games on both the phones run pretty well on its own. Yes, there is some stability issues on the P20 Pro without the GPU Turbo, but with the GPU Turbo, you, don't, you won't see that 60% increase, but what you will see is more consistent frame rates on your phone. So if you are looking for a gaming phone and you want something from Honor or Huawei, then maybe you want to look for the phones that have GPU Turbo. Now they did mention that many other phones will be receiving the GPU Turbo. They mentioned during their event that the Honor 10 and the Honor View 10 will be receiving the GPU Turbo this month. So if you are looking for a more stable and enjoyable gameplay experience on an Android phone, 
then you can go ahead and try to get one of these phones. All right, guys, there you have it. That is basically what GPU Turbo can do for you. Now, as I mentioned before, you're probably not gonna realize that 60% uh, performance improvements in these phones. However, that 30% uh, power reduction is probably pretty plausible because as I mentioned before, playing games, um, watching videos on social media, texting, I realized that the Honor Play can last me easily one and a half days. If I don't use it at all, then it will last me easily two days. So guys, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because we take out videos like this every single week. And of course, guys, I will see you in the next video.